Right now I am packing the bag, the carry-on bag for Walter and I's first solo plane trip. So I won't have any help from TSA to the gate to Cody picking us up this evening in Atlanta. Um, so I'm kind of nervous, but I think it's okay. We, we He's flown enough that he's kind of used to it and I kind of know what to expect enough now. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I'm packing for the trip. So this is a little intimidating, but not, you know, terrible because like I said, I kind of know what to expect. But with this, with this shorter flight, I'm not packing a huge amount of things and I think that's the easiest. The, the first time that we flew with him, he was three months old and I overpacked so much, but I think there's a good balance that I can take. Obviously, if they we had some connecting flights or it was going to be all day travel, I would do a little bit more of each of these things and some more like toys or books or things like that. But for now, it's just the basics of keeping him entertained and hoping that he'll go to sleep on the plane. That is the goal. Uh, but if not, I am prepared. So this is what I actually carry around basically every time I have the duck bag with me. But inside here is the quart size bag for TSA that I can pull out of this really quickly. And this is just all of his toiletry bags, right? So I've got some Clorox wipes, some travel wet wipes, some diaper cream, lotion, gas medicine, uh, Purell, everything you'd need. One thing you'll also have to take out at TSA is any type of formula or baby powder. So I've got this formula container that I use. There's four scoops, which equals it to about an eight, eight ounce bottle. Now that he's almost... 13 months old, I don't do a lot of this, but it's really easy to use when traveling. So the whole milk that he usually gets won't just grow old and warm and gross. If you do have a bottle, you can take it with you. You just have to specify that it's for the baby. So I've got a bottle of water that I'll have with me that I don't have to buy for like five bucks in a terminal. What I packed so far in here, I've got two bibs, some extra socks, some puffs or snacks. He, he really likes these got more snacks got some granola bars got some some pouches easy to go and travel with got a spoon he won't really need to use this but he will probably play with it I'm just trying to make sure it's not like anything really hard and bulky because whatever I give him he'll probably use as a drumstick so I've got some fresh bottles upstairs I'm gonna pack two uh, one for milk one for juice and then here are his extra outfits. Just a light jacket I can throw in there. If it's too hot in the plane, he's got some basketball shorts, two shirts, and a zip up onesie pajama. If he does pee through his clothes, it's easy to get him in and out of those. But his outfit today is just a t-shirt and some light cotton pants that he won't overheat in and it's gonna be easy to change his diaper instead of a snap-on onesie. He's also in 18 month clothes right now, so it's kind of hard to find snap-ons anyway, but just a couple t-shirts is what we're, we're moving towards these days. So what we've done with our car seat, uh, the one I just got from Amazon, I really like better than the first one that we used on the first two or three trips he, he took. But I'll link it in the description below. The reason I like this is that the material is a little bit more heavy duty, harder to rip, tear, and it has backpack straps. The other one just held up like a bag. And after carrying a car seat through airport terminals, Cody at Christmas was done he was hating it so um this one is a lot more easier to carry fortunately my parents are keeping this one um with them so they can travel back with it because um it's my mom and dad and my younger sister who are traveling back at the end of the week but right now uh today tonight cody has our normal car seat so we brought it with us on the way really loved it and then we have ours at home in the car but you can bring it on the flight. You can strap in your toddler to their car seat on a seat, but you have to purchase a ticketed seat. There have been times with all of the COVID restrictions, how there's spacing in between, that there's a chance you could put the car seat in a, an empty seat next to you, but it's not guaranteed. Very rare. I've always asked and expected them to say no. And so when that happened, here's what happens. We usually fly Delta. We go to the um, the gate desk, we ask them for a pink tag, they'll give it to you whenever you're boarding the plane, you scan your ticket, you strap a little pink tag on both the stroller, um, whatever stroller that you have, if it's covered, awesome. We don't really use our nice big stroller. First of all, because it's really heavy. Second of all, it's because if it gets damaged, I would rather 
a $20 umbrella stroller that I got from Target. I'll link that below. It's Mickey Mouse. He really likes it. I'm okay with that being damaged than another like nice one that we use every day. So we check both of those things free of charge at the gate. We take it down and they, they load it up in the bottom of the plane and then we get it as soon as we get off. So we can put them right back in a stroller, put on the backpack, car seat carrier and go. So that's what we've done. Um, saving a little bit of money. He is infant in arms still. I think that's up to two years old. But right now at this point, being almost 13 months, he is curious, climbing all over me, kicking in the seat. This may be the last time that that's going to work because he's just so active. Um, and being in a car seat, he would be more used to that with travel. He would know that, hey, it's time to quiet down. I can put on a show. I got this uh, on Amazon this week. I was curious to see if he would keep it on these kind of toddler size headphones. It was a fight to keep it on because he was saying, you know, like every, anytime I put glasses on him or a hat or anything, he rips it right off. But as he realized, oh, the music for my favorite show is on and I kind of held it in place, then he calmed down um, and that was a lifesaver. So I downloaded a couple shows of Coco Melon on Netflix so I wouldn't need Wi-Fi in the flight and we watched that together. So this really helped. <laughs> I've heard a couple people suggest when watching traveling with the toddler videos on YouTube or different blogs about what to do. And they always suggest introducing a new toy. And I think that's a great idea. But for me, I know the toys that he likes and that are tried and true. Like he's going to have his attention glued to this one toy. So I bring that and a new toy so his curiosity can be like, oh, you know, but he may not be into it and like throw it in three seconds. So I always bring back up entertainment plans, but that's just what works for us. Um, infant in arms, check the car seat at the gate, check the stroller at the gate, get it right after you get off the plane and we're good. TSA is probably the most stressful part, but as soon as you just realize, hey, I'm taking my time, people can wait, there are other lines the slower that you go, the better and the less stressed out you will be. Take your time. You have a child with you. Nobody's rushing you. And if they do, just ignore them. The TSA agents are there to help you. So ask questions, see if they can carry something for you. It's fine. Take your time and breathe. Also to avoid carrying a big bulky blanket on the plane, it is a little warmer. It's like 70 degrees outside. I'm just wearing a big sweater and that is his blanket. sleep in the car so he was sleepy and not trying to jump out of the stroller or anything while I'm trying to put stuff on the belt so he did a great job. about the Little Rock Airport is that because it is small enough, I can see the family bathroom from the TSA gate. So it's right across from our gate today. And it's clean, it's empty, I don't feel rushed changing his diaper. It's perfect. We'll change your diaper right before we board so we won't have any leaks. But look how nice this is. For a smaller airport, this is like super, super great to have. Fresh diaper. Are you ready to go in the airplane? Are you ready? Oh yeah.
so Mr. Pooper here started to grunt as soon as she announced boarding. So better to poop before though than on the plane. So we went back to the family bathroom, got him changed. Dad, dad, that's me. That is me. <laughs> <laughs> 